In our WDSU first morning weather forecast, another chilly start to this morning, but we ended up warmer. We also started off with a bit of an early season surprise. The National Hurricane Center came out and said, you know what, this little area storms and the way far eastern Atlantic might show some possibility of development. Let me show you the satellite imagery and take you into the eastern Atlantic, where there's this area that's been deemed an extremely low chance of possible development. But it's the first of the season, and as you can see, this thing was spinning, showed some storm activity, but really little to no organization to it. It's getting blown apart by stronger winds, 10% chance of possible development over the next two to seven days. But as you're going to find that this is entering waters that are conducive for support and strengthening, but it's running into really, really strong wind shear. It's going to tear it apart. Not highly unusual that we could see something this early, but it is one of those that's a little bit more rare. And it could mean that this is going to be a more active season, especially with water temps to where they are. 60 degree temps in the North Shore right now, still 72 and 73 at Lewis Armstrong International Lakefront. Dew points, you may have noticed a little uptick in the humidity. And this means tomorrow morning isn't going to be as chilly as where we've been. And we're going to go up from there. The return is some warmth, humidity. Right in time for Jazz Fest, Zurich Classic. This is pretty typical for the time of the year. But as for rain chances, we're not going to find those for a while. Even higher humidity tomorrow to add to a warmer day. Then it's a warm and humid, kind of earned that early stride of the summer pattern. We're going to hold the storm chances off until next week, but I'm seeing that we may even push them off more into the middle of next week. It could be a while. So low temperatures we'll get to after. There's a little bit of fog potential, so I have to mention this in some indications. Could be some dense fog in some areas, so give it an extra minute. Tune in with meteorologist Damon Singleton. Traffic Deja Brown, just a couple of minutes in those more typical areas. Twin Span, Slidell to Belt Chase, those are those areas. It's cool as 59, 58 North Shore tomorrow morning. Maybe a few light jackets, but I think we can get away without the jackets here in New Orleans as a quick warm-up will be underway as the sun rises, just a few clouds. And the humidity is up to make 85, feeling a little bit warmer. I got 87 in Bogalusa too, and dew points on the rise to mid to upper 60s. Could make that first heat index feel a little bit hotter, 87, 88. So Zurich Classic first round tomorrow. We're getting away with jackets early, but going to shorts and tees. And of course, all the ways to keep cool at Jazz Fest is not only under the bright sun, but a few of your friends around you too make it feel a bit warmer. Few clouds rolling into Friday. Temperatures maybe down a tick or two, but still feeling like 86, 87 for Jazz Fest. The slim chance of a shower, but I wouldn't count on it. Then we head into Saturday. It's still more of the same. A cloud here and there. I think a little bit more sun on Saturday than Friday and 85, feeling more like 88 for the Zurich Classic. The next chance of storms. Not until we get past the weekend. The arrival of a front gives us a chance of storms Monday, maybe by Tuesday, but that front's going to fade, which means the rain chances start to go down as it enters our region, so the rain chances still aren't that great. WDSU first warning weather seven day forecast. A little bit warmer mornings underway, warm and humid afternoons. Oh yeah, the winds could play a part in the Zurich Classic by the weekend. The southeast winds could be 15, 25 and higher gusts.